Tonight only on six, we've learned Florida Power and Light is taking a hard look at how it did getting your power back on after Hurricane Irma. FPL admits it made mistakes and is learning from them, but also insists it was their best restoration effort ever after the toughest storm the company has ever faced. FPL talked only to News Six's Eric Von Anken at its brand new hurricane proof operations center in Palm Coast. And Eric, you really posed some tough questions to those guys. Ginger, yeah, I talked to the VP. This is the guy in charge for all of restoration, for all of the customers all across Florida. He says there's a lot they did right, he thinks anyway, like building this brand new hurricane proof building and sticking 100 people in here to hunker down during the storm. So they were all here and ready to respond right after Hurricane Irma rolled through. He also admits, though, there is a lot to learn from the storm. How did FPNL do during Irma? I think we did very well. You know, it's with all storms, you know, hurricanes are a powerful force of nature. And you know, when Hurricane Irma impacted us, it impacted all 35 counties that we serve here at Florida Power and Light. Manny Miranda is FPL's vice president of power delivery. That means he's in charge of getting electricity to your house. And after Hurricane Irma, it was out to almost all of FPL's customers. That's 4.5 million homes. But Miranda says almost half were back on within a day, and all were back on within 10 days. What do you say to those folks who say it just took too long to get their power back on? Well, like every storm, you know, we will we will look at how we responded to the storm. We are very critical of ourselves and we look back at our performance. And if you look back at this performance and how fast we restore lights on, Hurricane Wilma took us 18 days. We improved that down to 10 days for everyone. Miranda credits the $3 billion that FPL spent over the past decade to harden the grid, putting in power poles that don't break and circuit breakers that try to clear themselves when a branch hits a line. That money also paid for software. It's contacting the meter and it's pinging it. Software that can tell FPL when your power is out without having to send someone to your street. But FPL admits it needs to spend more to get it right when it comes to properly predicting when you'll get your power back. How do you give people a more accurate timeline of when they're going to get their power on? There were mistakes made there. That, that's an area that we're going to be really taking a hard look at. The VP says, in fact, right now they are talking to consultants and technology companies, companies like IBM, to try and develop software to get that time frame prediction a little bit better. Remember, Duke Energy took a lot of heat ginger from a lot of people who kept saying they missed the deadlines over and over again. I'll also get into that when I see again coming up at 7 o'clock what FPNL says they learned from that situation. All right, a lot to be learned all around. Eric Von Inken reporting live. Eric, thank you.